Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. I'm going through some of my favorite Psalms this week, and today is Psalm 24. This is a, a beautiful Psalm. It's got beautiful things to say, but it's one of these Psalms that just affects my soul. Um, by, by that I mean, it's, it's one where it touches me in ways even beyond the, the understanding I have of it. It, it. it just, it washes over me and gives me peace and joy and, and happiness and satisfaction. Let's see if it does for you. And, and let me tell you the psalm. It breaks out into three natural divisions. And we'll pause with each division and talk about them. The first division is where the psalm begins. It says, the earth is the Lord's and everything that's in it. The world and those who dwell therein. For he's founded it upon the seas and he's established it on the rivers. That's the first section. I like that. Let me think about that for a minute. The earth is the Lord's and everything that's in it. Now, question, are you in the earth? Answer, yeah, you are. You may be saying, oh, I'm up in the air. I'm watching this in an airplane. That's okay. It's still part of the earth. Now, that means that you belong to God. Whether you realize it or not, whether you know he's there or not, whether you think about him or not, whether you care about him or not, you belong to him. I belong to to the Lord. That changes my view of a lot of things. I know the Lord takes care of those things that belong to him. I need not fear. I need only trust him and follow him. I need only do what he says. It's for my own good. I'm his. He desires the best for me. He wants to treasure me. He wants to take care of me. And he wants me to be the best me I can be. And the same for you. You belong to him. Second section. Who shall ascend? Go up. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. Who does not lift up her or his soul to what is false, and doesn't swear deceitfully. He or she will receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Now, I like this section because it, the, the Psalms already said, you belong to the Lord. The earth belongs to the Lord. But God had in an Old Testament sense of, of vision and, and prophecy had established a particular place for his temple, his presence. And because he had that particular place, it gave people a chance to seek out the presence of God, even though God is everywhere. But it, it, it taught people that we are to come into God's presence. We are to seek the God to whom we belong. And how we do that isn't simply one of a geography statement. The one who's going to climb or ascend the hill of the Lord, the one who's going to come into his holy place, is the one who's done so in their heart, who seeks purity in heart. It's the person who has clean hands, who doesn't swear deceitfully, whose word is their bond. It's someone with the character of God. They seek the presence of God. And the psalmist says that when you do that, you're going to receive a blessing from God. God's going to shine on you. He's going to prepare your heart and your life. Because while you belong to the Lord, section one of Psalm 24, you're called to seek him out. And when you do so, you walk in those rich blessings that he has. Now, the psalm doesn't end there. 
there's a third section. And the third, se third section says, lift up your head, O gates. It's talking about like the gates of a city, the way that the doors would lift, the way they would open up. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. This is showing this picture of a triumphal king coming into a city. It says, who is the king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. So lift up your gates, heads, O gates, be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? And then it says, the Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. So this final close is everything belongs to the victorious Lord, but we're to seek him out and receive from him blessing and then watch him reign in victory. I love this psalm. I hope it washes over you with some of the joy and peace it does me. God bless you. Another psalm tomorrow.